Hey, everybody. Welcome to my upstairs office at home. I have some information I want to share with you, some more information that uh, time at, on a Sunday morning would not allow. And so if you are watching this video, then see, I've got everything written down so that I can just keep talking and not get distracted like I just did. Hmm. So if you're watching this video, <laughs> you have an interest in having conversations about Jesus with foreign individuals. And I hope that I can provide some additional information to continue your interest in becoming a kingdom worker through the missions ministry of NCC and LST, of course, which means let's start talking. It is amazing, isn't it, that through Zoom, we can do overseas evangelism from the comfort of our own homes. <laughs> How cool is that? To help others hear the gospel story, here is what you can do. First of all, you go online to the LST website, lst.org. When you get to that site at the top of the page, click on the How We Serve button. <clears throat> I don't know why they call them buttons, but they aren't buttons like I knew buttons. So, but anyway, you click on that button and a drop down menu will show that will allow you to click on LST Connect. When you click on that and your screen changes to that location, scroll to the bottom of the page where it says North American Friends, LST Workers, register here. You click on the word here, which will be highlighted in blue. And that will take you to a registration page where it takes probably about five minutes to register. But there are a couple of special attentions that I want to give you about registration. First of all, there is an initial fee or a donation, they call it, of $55 to register. Now, don't let that surprise you, please. And don't let that deter you. See, even when you go on a short-term mission trip, there are personal financial costs. Mission organizations just can't afford to pay for everything. And so they ask those who are doing the mission work <clears throat> to help alleviate some of the costs. And so these organizations use such donations to fund their work. If you don't have $55, that you want to donate or can donate, then folks, please, please let me know. Because if you're truly interested, we will make sure through the mission, NCC missions, or just through per personal individuals, we'll make sure that that fee, fee, fee is covered for you. Now, the second special attention is that there will be a request for a reference from a pastor. Believe it or not, I am a pastor. I stayed at the Holiday Inn Express last night. No, no, I really am uh, a, a pastor. And so if you can obviously use my name on that box and fill in my email, which is sneakertown at yahoo.com. Sneaker Town. Yeah, you heard that correctly. Sneaker Town. When emails came out, I was living in a town in Indiana called Converse. <laughs> and so I cleverly used Converse sneakers. As, okay, Sneaker Town at Yahoo.com. Now, once your registration is complete, LST will send you an email link for their training schedule. I mean, you really didn't think that you were just going to get pushed out and thrown to the wolves without having any idea of what was expected of you or what you should do, did you? Oh, we wouldn't do that. EST will provide some basic training that will prove to you just how easy it is to serve the Lord in this way. Now, one note that was a bit confusing to Joy and me. When you read the materials, the registrations, uh, you, instead of using the terms teacher, students, LTS uses the terms worker, reader. And in the training, they'll explain why they do that. But you and I 
are the designated workers. The folks that we befriend, that we help, they are the readers. So in case you get a little confused like Joy and I did, that's the explanation for that, okay? So let's this go on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. A few last words that will hopefully encourage you to move forward. First of all, you do not have to be a professional English teacher or professor. I, I can't emphasize that enough. You know, a uh, few years back, some of you may remember if you were part of the church back then, uh, I think it was 2016, that Joy and I went to Italy to do this same type of program. Now, Joy is a teacher. I am not. When you are given a reader with whom to work, that reader is not expecting an English professional or professor. They have enrolled in this program to practice their English and to enhance it through conversation with you and me who have English as our native language. You know, what they're interested in is speaking with someone who knows English as a native language. They, they, they have been taught the basics of English already. They can communicate with you. And they are interested in like conversational English. They're interested in speaking with someone like you so that they can practice their English. They, they will read passages from the Bible. Well, in, first of all, you will read passages from the Bible, and then they will read passages from the Bible. And as long as you can read, you can help them with reading and understanding English. So I get what I'm saying is don't feel intimidated, because that is exactly what Satan wants. You know more about English than they, and you probably know more about the Bible than they do. You will learn in training that you and the reader use a common textbook, or not a textbook, I'm sorry, it's a workbook, with scripture selections from the book of Luke. The, the lessons are basic, they basically cover like one eight by 11 page. And the reader comes knowing that the Bible will be the textbook that's used. So in other words, they, they, there's no deception here. They don't hear, hey, you want to practice your English, sign up for this class, and all of a sudden, boom, somebody springs the Bible on them. They already know that the Bible is the text that's going to be used. So he or she probably won't view the Bible as the Word of God. They come from different cultures. Some of them come from Korea, some of them from China, some of them from Muslim countries. They may not view the Bible as a word of God, but they know that that is the text that's going to be used. That's what they signed up for. And so I want to emphasize that just like you don't have to be a professional English teacher, you do not have to be a Bible scholar. You'll be surprised by how the power of the scripture speaks to the hearts of these people whom you are befriending. And that's what you need to be most of all. You need to be just a friend. You don't have to be a professional English teacher. You don't have to be a Bible scholar. The Bible will speak to the hearts of your readers because you're praying for them and you're working with them and you're being a friend to them. The lessons are very simple, as you might expect, since they have to be understood by non-English readers. You know, they're, they're listening to the Bible, and not only is the Word of God speaking to their hearts, but they're processing English words. They're translating them. They're, they're trying to understand. They're working <laughs> far harder than you or I would be working. And so they just need someone to care about them and to take time 
and spend some time listening to them and sharing with them. In other words, you can do this. What do you need most? Well, you just need a heart that is wide open to be used by the Holy Spirit, a heart of compassion for the lost to hear the gospel story and to come to faith in Christ. When you couple that compassionate heart with patience, with listening ears, you know, hearing more than speaking, understanding more than worry about being understood, and you, you add in that a desire to learn about and develop friendships with different people in different cultures, you're going to love this avenue of ministry, and you are going to be effective in it. And the last thing I mentioned to you is that you will have a backup resource in LST, and if it means anything, in me. You can contact either one of us, LST or me, with any questions you have or questions that your readers may raise. You don't have to have all of the answers immediately. It's very easy to just say, you know, I'm not sure about that, but in our next lesson, which encourages them to come back, I'll have a, an answer for you. Most importantly, you have the Holy Spirit guiding your thoughts and guiding your words. And experiencing the Holy Spirit's leading in speaking the gospel to others, especially to others across the globe, or what they call cultural barriers, that just may be one of the most faith-deepening steps in your spiritual growth. So if you have any other questions that will that the answers will help allay your fears and build your confidence, then please contact me at Sneakertown. Yes, that's Sneakertown at yahoo.com. Or you can contact Joyce and my landline and leave a message. How do you don't contact a landline? You can call our landline. How's that? And leave a message anyway at 724-872-5807. 724-872-5807. Or you can leave a number at the church, 724-863-2141. 724-863-2141. Leave a message in either one of those locations and I will contact you. So one last favor. If you choose to register and sign up for this outreach, will you please notify me in some way? We, we would like to have a record of how many folks are actually joining up and if this ministry is en enabling people to be used of God. So please, please let us know if you go from this step of this video to actually signing up and registering to become a part of LST, okay? Okay, now that was too much to be used on the Sunday morning, but I hope it was short enough that um, it encourages you and challenges you and piques your interest and that you take the next step that you go to lst.org and that you register and become a part of this ministry. Okay? Okay. I got to hit this button down here. It's not a button. It's really not a button, but I'm supposed to click on the button. <laughs>